Hello guys, it's Podgaming here and today I want to show you how to create your own mini roundabouts, fully functional with no horrible pathways in the middle. So the first job is to choose the correct roads and to create the smallest round completion of a one by one scale you need to first select the small two-way road system and then upgrade it to a single road highway this is what we need to allow us to create these roundabouts without the horrible raised pathways in the middle so now using the move it mod tool we want to copy and paste what we've just created put them next to each other and add a way road in between them have a few roads coming off so we can play around with the functionality and that is pretty much the start of the dual roundabout and now if we zoom in we can see by putting down the surface painter that these circles are absolutely spot on flush to the ground we have no raised areas or anything and that pretty much completes the look of a typical uk mini roundabout and to complete that look, the next job is to create the roundabout actual road markings. So these arrows are on the workshop, you can find those. But creating the mini roundabout circle, I must admit I did steal the idea from Crumbs McGee, who if you haven't already done so, check out his YouTube channel. He is an absolutely amazing City Skylines detailer. And yeah, this works out perfectly well. And for reference, I'm going to be adding a link to a workshop collection to allow you to create this roundabout with ease without having to worry about searching through the workshop for all the suitable assets and props. Now the next job is to add down the lines. And what I found is the technique I'm using to actually manifest this. You need to do the lines first before we use the um, asphalt. So make sure you do all the lines you need and you want to have and they will then automatically stay there when we place over the, uh, the uh, road asphalt. So as you can see here, the first job is I'm creating the circle lines around the roundabout and the road markings themselves. It does take some time, but I'm sure you'll get there in the end. A bit of patience certainly helps. Now once the lines are complete, we're gonna do the same again, but with the uh, curbs from the workshop done by Ronix, these are great. So we're just going to go around the actual build itself as close as possible and sort of create that level of um, a typical road. I mean, the curbs are quite standard in the UK for certainly on roundabouts. And the final step is to add the asphalt down. So what we're doing here, we've got the lines drawn, as you can see, all the ones we want to keep are there. And we've now got the ability to add these down. So these are on the workshop as always from Ronix and we can put these down and you can see now it's just leveling things off perfectly well it's allowing us to hide all of the road areas that we don't want and as I said the road markings we done previously are now on there and staying on there the only thing that I didn't do is some of the road markings themselves here disappear because I want to sort of bring out that darker shade of road so it looks like it's been a new a new build down so all we got to do now is just replace the additional lines that we just lost and put the lines across for the uh, roundabout and I'm just using this circle as a guideline to place down the arrows a bit later on and to work out what lines suit your country or nation better check out Google Maps and just have a look at a few locations I'm here obviously using uh, the UK setup with left hand um, driving and the actual way that the road markings are placed are pretty much identical to a typical roundabout you'd end up seeing um, in the UK. So that is the best way to find out what line markings work for you. And obviously if you want to make this into a right hand build, do exactly the same, but obviously change the way the roads go. Obviously the roundabouts will be going the other way around and the in well the entrances and exits will be slightly different as well. In fact, the opposite. So just placing down the last few details here, the last few lines, I had a bit of an issue over here where I couldn't actually delete one of the lines that I placed incorrectly because of all the layers. But if that happens to you, just delete the um, asphalt and you'll be able to get into it pretty easy after that. So once all the road markings are done and you're happy with that, you can then move on to traffic manager. And here I'm just putting the priority routes in so obviously the people coming onto the roundabouts don't have priority over people already on the roundabout 
I changed the speed down to 20 and 30, but um, you might want to change that up depending on how much traffic you've got going through. But for cinematics, it looked quite good at that sort of speed. Um, obviously, realism, it'll be a little bit quicker. And we're also working out the lane um, routes available as well. So this is a standard, um, well, a standard way of how this would all work together. So guys, that's pretty much it for this little tutorial episode on creating mini roundabouts. I will let you watch the time lapse now and you'll see that I did create another roundabout, another dual roundabout, which is one that goes from each other, from the first roundabout to the second without a little stopping area, which you'll see on this cinematic here. Works in exactly the same way, it's just instead of using that road to connect, you bring everything back in closer. So if you have any trouble with that, I'm more than happy to give you some help and some tips. And remember to check out the link below which will give you a link to the Steam collection which will allow you to download and make sure you've got all the available and required props and mods that you need to complete this. Other than that guys, if you like the video please hit that like button, if you haven't already please subscribe and thank you very much for watching, I'll see you all very very soon, all the best. Thank you.